Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a little tutorial on how I do my favorite animal prints. I've picked out five different animal prints and it's very, very simple. So if you are a beginner, this is very beginner friendly. But yeah, so first off, I'm using these little nails that I got from Amazon. They will be linked down below if you are interested. These are great to practice on if you are interested in practicing your nail art. And the little stand is also from Amazon. Anyway, so into the actual products, I'm using this jelly uh, gel polish from uh, Born Pretty and it's gorgeous. Obviously, you need to apply many, many coats with this, but that's the whole point with this kind of gel polish. Um, and I did end up, end up applying more on these nails than I would on my actual nails, um, just because the blue tack, I didn't really want you to see too much blue tack. But anyway, also, this video is kindly, I wouldn't say, is it a sponsor? I don't know. I'm not getting paid to say this, but I was kindly gifted these products and I wanted to mention them in this video because I'm honestly obsessed with the brand and Louisa. I'm so lucky to be working with them because I've worked with them, I've worked with them a few times now and every time they send me the most gorgeous jewellery. If you're really into gold jewellery, jewelry, then please check them out. I got so many nice things. I picked out some earrings, which you're about to see here. A really gorgeous packaging as well. These stunning gold hoops. The size of them are absolutely gorgeous. You can see here, they're called the Tia Medium Gold. And you can look on their website. It will be linked down below if you are interested. Um, look how gorgeous they are. I'm sorry, but they're stunning and they look so cute. But yeah, the link will be down below if you are interested and you can check out what else is on their website. So these were the first things that I picked out. And then also they came very, very protected. And then also I got two, uh, three other things actually, which are these three bracelets. So the biggest one is called the Aura bracelet, which I'm obsessed with. It really does give me Rolex vibes. Then this one is the Michelle Bold bracelet. And then the last one is called the Louise bracelet. And they go together so cute. I'm desperate to get some more gold jewelry, to be honest, because I love being heavy in jewelry especially gold because gold's sewing at the moment and you can see the quality in them as well like it even says and louisa on which i love and when i turn them around let me show you you can see it's got the little a there which i just think these little tiny bits really do make the jewelry and then a little gem there and then this is the clasp on this one like so dainty, but also pretty bold. And it's a good statement at the same time that like, they feel very delicate with looking very prominent, I guess. But yeah, they go together so, so well. I'm obsessed with the three things, that, uh, the four things actually that I uh, picked out and they've got such a good selection. I've got earrings from there and I've got necklaces. And to be honest, I wear my necklaces and my earrings every day and they hold up really really well i've been wearing the bracelets now for quite a long time too and there's no tarnishing or anything like that so definitely if you're interested in getting some good uh, jewelry that's a thicker bracelet um then defo check them out because it's well worth it and the louise one but yeah so back onto the video i'm now using this gel polish from berlin i've had these gel polishes for absolutely ages um i've I'm surprised that they have lasted this long, to be honest, because I have had them for a wee while. Anyway, so I'm using this little brush that I did get from Amazon. Again, it will be linked down below if you're interested. Uh, everything will be linked down below, to be honest, so I don't need to keep continuing to say that. Uh, and I did actually use the wrong shade here. You'll see when I come back, it's a different shade. Um, but I'm basically, with these nails, I'm going to do tips of the animal print, just to make it a little bit more interesting, just because that's what I personally prefer, but I've done it before where it's simply just the nail of just the animal print, which still does look really cute. But in this video, I wanted to make it a little bit more special, if you will. So I'm doing these little tips. So we've got a light color and then a little splodges of the darker color. And now I'm using a dotting tool. Now you can use any brush for this, just something that will help you be precise, but it doesn't need to be too precise. Uh, the messiness kind of does work with this print, which I like. So if you've not got a steady hand, because you've not had a massive amount of practice in nail art, then this is a good uh, design for you to try out. And 
if you've got really really tiny nails then you can still fit on a few little uh, cheetah print or leopard print on your nails so yeah i think this is such a cute one this is like my first ever animal print that i got really into so that's why i'm showing it you first and yeah you can clearly see this is very obviously cheetah print so so easy okay and now i'm using a top coat from born pretty again i actually do really like this top coat to be honest and it's a non-wipe top coat so yeah that is how that one turned out i love the cheetah print so moving on to the next one i'm now gonna move on to a white so i'm doing the white tip again i'm doing the same for every single video i'm speeding it up because otherwise we'll be here all day and don't worry if you aren't quite great at making the even line you can always go in with some uh, nail polish remover to neaten it up mine's not 100 percent neat but it doesn't really need to be the neatest if you're not if you're not overly interested in doing that it doesn't really matter i was doing these practice uh, nails so i wasn't too bothered but yeah you will get a lot better at freehanding the um the nail tip but yeah so this is a dalmatian print this is very special to me because i actually have a dalmatian she's called daisy and dalmatians have always been our family dog i had a dalmatian called lottie when i was young so i've always got to rep the dalmatian nails at least once every couple months can't lie but yeah so next one we're doing another white tip and i think we are going to be doing cow print so i've done cow print multiple times again i remember when i did cow print i went to school and i got so many compliments i remember cow print was already in at one point and i still really like it to be honest i think it looks really funky and you can change the colors it doesn't necessarily have to be the traditional black and white you can change the colors with any of these to be honest if you wanted like a green themed cow print i don't know that would work but yeah so back to the top coat look it was easy as that with the dotting tool if you don't have a dotting tool you can use a hair clip a hair grip um what else could you use i don't know the end of a pencil i guess and yeah so next one we're going back in with the white tip they're not all white tip by the way but obviously if you wanted to change the color that's absolutely fine so there we are, we've got the little tip going on and now we're gonna do a leopard print, not a leopard print, sorry, a zebra print or a cheetah print. Uh, but this is black and white, so a zebra print. But anyway, so you, for this you'll need a fine line uh, detailer brush. I got this one from Sheen. You did, if you have watched my Sheen supplies haul, then you will have seen me unbox it there. But this is how it looks, so easy. You just constantly draw lines from other lines and boom until you fill, fill the whole area and then you're done so it really doesn't take long at all again top coat like normal and now i'm using this black one from rosalind i think i did a video on this particular gel set because i got loads of minis and yeah so back to the uh, nail tip and now we're going to go in with the base coat which kind of sounds a little bit weird so this is for the croc print this is probably one of the hardest ones i'd say but really isn't hard at all so once you've done your um print cured it not print sorry your uh, tip you've cured it and now i'm putting a thin layer or maybe not too thin just and uh, not too thick a layer of base coat and it does have to be base coat and i'm sticking on these really big um with a giant dotting tool as well really really big balls of gel and you'll see the gel is slowly starting to spread out but because this i mean they won't i mean they collide with each other but they don't blend in with each other so you'll always see the black in between each dot which is making up the croc print and once you have stuck them all down they start spreading out you can uh, move them around i used a little detailer brush and added a little black in between uh, and then cured it put a bit uh, a top coat on and boom these are all the nails and they look so good they definitely look like a professional's done them and I'm showing you my bracelets again because I'm reminding you to check down below if you are interested in purchasing from Anne Louisa. Um, any details about that is down below. Um, but yeah, so look how good they look. I'm so obsessed with these. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. I shall see you guys next Sunday at 7 with a, another video. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye.